Neural networks are powerful learners capable of modeling complex functions across diverse domains. However, their strength can also be a vulnerability. Without careful design, they often overfit the training data. Overfitting occurs when a network performs exceptionally on training data, but poorly on unseen data, as it may memorize random artifacts rather than learn generalizable patterns. Severe overfitting is known as memorization, similar to a child who can solve only problems they have seen before, but struggles with new ones. Effective machine learning relies on recognizing patterns that generalize well. For example, a spam detector learns that repeated phrases like free money indicate spam, allowing it to identify new spam messages accurately. Generalization, the ability to make accurate predictions on new data, is the primary goal in all machine learning applications. Training examples serve to teach patterns, not to be repeatedly predicted. Linear and polynomial regression are common approaches for neural network training. Linear regression predicts a target variable using an identity activation function, offering stability but limited ability to capture complex relationships. Polynomial regression adds parameters to model non-linearity, but may not perfectly match the true data distribution. Overfitting can be mitigated through techniques such as penalty-based regularization, ensemble methods, early stopping, pre-training, and curriculum learning. The bias-variance trade-off highlights that more complex models do not always yield better predictions with limited data. Bias arises from model simplifications, variance from parameter estimation challenges, and noise from inherent data errors. Careful dataset partitioning into training, validation, and testing subsets is essential to avoid overfitting. And methods like cross-validation help ensure robust evaluation. Model tuning, hyperparameter selection, and training duration are critical, as additional training without improvement is wasteful. Conventional autoencoders and conditional variational autoencoders offer different approaches to learning latent representations, with conditional models improving regularization and hidden space structure. Generative adversarial networks complement these methods by producing realistic outputs aligned with the training data, ultimately addressing bias variance trade-offs, ensuring proper generalization, and selecting suitable models and ensembles require careful attention, thoughtful planning, and meticulous evaluation. Radial basis function, RBF, Networks have a distinct architecture compared to traditional feedforward networks. While feedforward networks transmit inputs sequentially through multiple layers with nonlinear activations, an RBF network typically consists of an input layer, a single hidden layer with RBF functions, and an output layer. The input layer simply passes data forward, while the hidden layer performs computations by comparing inputs with prototype vectors, a feature unique to RBF networks. This specialized hidden layer is central to the network's performance. The hidden layer often has higher dimensionality than the input layer, but generally fewer units than training points. The output layer applies an activation and loss function suited to the application, with weights connecting it to the hidden layer. RBF networks are effective at capturing complex structures in data, though their single hidden layer limits the overall model complexity. Training can be challenging due to local minima, but supervision in the hidden layer is minimal, usually restricted to adjusting existing weights. Network complexity is influenced by the number of hidden units and the width of their activation functions bandwidth. Smaller datasets benefit from fewer units and wider bandwidths to prevent overfitting. Prototype vectors may be chosen randomly or via clustering methods such as k-means. Training the output layer is straightforward, typically involving a single linear layer. RBF networks relate to methods like the Fisher discriminant and the Widrow-Hoff rule, but the higher dimensional hidden layer 
allows them to handle more complex data distributions. RBF networks can be adapted for various purposes using approaches such as the perceptron criterion, hinge loss, linear separability enhancement, interpolation, and connections to kernel methods. Restricted Boltzmann machines, RBMS, represent a fundamentally different paradigm from conventional feedforward networks. While feedforward networks perform deterministic input-output mappings by transforming inputs into corresponding outputs, RBMs model the probabilistic states of a network, making them well-suited for unsupervised learning. Rather than minimizing a prediction error, an RBM aims to model the joint probability distribution of observed and hidden variables. Unlike feedforward networks, which have directed edges, RBMS use an undirected architecture to capture probabilistic relationships and generate stochastic latent representations of data. RBMs primarily operate with binary states, but can be extended to other data types. They build upon the Hopfield network, which encodes binary attributes and models deterministic relationships through weighted edges. Hopfield networks are mainly used for memorization, while Boltzmann machines introduce probabilistic states to represent Bernoulli distributions of binary variables. The training objective of a Boltzmann machine is to optimize weights to maximize the likelihood of the training data. RBMS feature visible and hidden units connected symmetrically in an undirected graph. They are often used for classification via a pre-training process that involves unsupervised feature extraction, which can then be incorporated into an encoder-decoder network with supervised fine-tuning using backpropagation. Stacking RBMs allows the creation of deep networks, where layers are trained sequentially using contrastive divergence to avoid issues like vanishing or exploding gradients, common in conventional networks. Deep Boltzmann machines formed by stacking RBMS can be configured with bidirectional interactions to capture complex relationships. Hopfield networks and RBMS are applied across a wide range of tasks, including dimensionality reduction, data reconstruction, collaborative filtering, classification, topic modeling, and handling multimodal and non-binary data. Their ability to combine unsupervised pre-training with supervised fine-tuning makes them a versatile tool in deep learning. Restricted Boltzmann machines, R, BMS, are undirected probabilistic graphical models derived from Hopfield networks. Hopfield networks use weighted edges to model deterministic relationships among binary neurons, but their storage capacity is limited and weights are often non-binary. Boltzmann machines extend Hopfield networks by using probabilistic states to model Bernoulli distributions of binary attributes, incorporating visible states for observed data and hidden states for latent variables. The goal is to optimize weights to maximize the likelihood of the training data. RBMS simplify Boltzmann machines by connecting only hidden and visible units, making training more tractable. They are commonly used for classification via pre-training, where unsupervised feature extraction is performed, transforming data into encoder-decoder architectures. The output layer predicts classes, and weights can be refined with backpropagation. Collaborative filtering and other applications leverage RBMS, although challenges include large hidden layer updates and careful normalization of input data. Stacked RBMs allow the construction of deep networks, where sequential pre-training improves performance compared to a single-layer RBM. Recurrent neural networks, RNNs, are designed for sequential data, particularly in text, speech, and time series applications. They maintain hidden states that propagate information over time, enabling the network to model dependencies and sequences. Practical training challenges such as vanishing or exploding gradients are addressed with techniques like truncated backpropagation through time 
and layer normalization. Variants like long short term memory, LSTM, networks, and gated recurrent units introduce memory vectors or gating mechanisms to preserve information over longer sequences. Bidirectional RNNs leverage past and future context, making them suitable for tasks such as handwriting and speech recognition. Echo state networks simplify RNNs by randomly initializing hidden to hidden matrices while training only the output layers, providing a form of long term memory and improved stability. RNN applications are broad, including sequence modeling, image captioning, token and sentence level classification, sentiment analysis, speech recognition, machine translation, and computational biology. Together, RBMS and RNNS highlight how neural networks can model probabilistic temporal and sequential structures in complex data.